Is the U.S. becoming irrelevant? It, it, not only irrelevant globally, Laura, what is happening, they're discredited. Yeah. That is, uh, what we're witnessing are really cataclysmic changes in the region that no longer we hear from Osama bin Laden or Ayman al Zawahiri, that is, the political culture is changing. It is not, I mean, there is a lot that needs to be done in Egypt. Still, the military is in charge. Still, the uh, Egyptian military is heavily invested uh, with US and Israel and so forth. But what has come out is the democratic will of the people. That will not let go. That is, for the first time, we're witnessing people are perfectly capable of democracy, and guess what, without US invasion. You've written very beautifully about the search that people have gone uh, sort of undertaken to consider what influence these movements for change are going to fall under. Are they going to fall under the influence of the nationalists? Are they going to fall under the influence of the socialists? Are they going to fall under the influence of the Islamists? You say stop looking for influences. Something else could be happening. It is retrieval, Laura, of an existing but repressed cosmopolitan culture that includes nationalism, socialism, Islamism, but is not reducible to any one of them. That cosmopolitan political culture has always existed if you just uh, allow itself to uh, allow it to, to show it to yourself. That's what we're discovering. And this balance of terror that existed between war on terrorism and terrorism, that is being cast aside.